timestamps are below i'll be writing it down okay if you want to see the eula animation and how to maximize her ultimate i'm gonna write it down and if you want to see me rant or just talk about eula in general you can start watching right now eula's kit right it's like threading a needle but you need to find that needle in in a haystack while while wearing yellow tinted shades and then and then when you find that needle your, your friend tells you that the thread is also in the haystack the, the string is also in the haystack but then your friend sets the haystack on fire so you need to find that thread before it gets burned and then you have to is eula good or bad like is she the worst dps <laughs> in the game right now is she the best newest dps that mihoyo just released right all right this video is going to be unbiased as hell and i want to show you guys why eula's here i'm not gonna tell you any damage numbers like no no food i'm just gonna tell you why eula's here why mihoyo put her here and what's the point of her, her thing like why is she like that why is why is her ultimate like delayed everything all of that <clears throat> no shortcuts no cutesy stuff just the truth dude i might get like burned at the stake for saying this kind of heresy not gonna lie <laughs> no cap <laughs> okay two summaries right for you guys watching for like 30 seconds or like i'm a head out you know i got you okay first summary those have diluc xiao hu tao ganyu zongli and venti in their roster you do not want eula okay and you should leave like right now <laughs> okay all right bye <laughs> here is a list that i will show you that is related to all you of eula's possible downsides that you might hear from other people about eula i'm gonna show him like in the screen like right here all right now that that's done the meta players are out okay now for those who aren't meta players why are you still here <laughs> If you're not playing for the meta, then you should even be watching these kinds of guides. Like, like why? Like, you pull the character because you like, you like, you like, like them, right? <laughs> like, why would you need um, validation for doing something that you decided for yourself? Get out of my video. <laughs> you don't need, need, you don't need to watch this. Like, enjoy your Yula. She's the best waifu right now. She's like the Sundari waifu. Actual summary: Yula is the epitome of a game mechanics character. Okay? Requiring proper time management, rotation of supports, understanding the mechanics of her skills, of her weapons, of her artifacts, of her supports, and the mechanics of the game. And when I say mechanics, I mean mechanics. She does great damage, but you need to put more thought into how you play than just getting the bursts up and doing elemental reactions and recharging them again right after. If you've seen like the, the previous characters, then you know what I'm talking about. And Hula doesn't play like that. She's like, she's a noble, you know, she's sassy that way. She has her own style. She like, if you're gonna kill something, might as well do it elegantly like Hula does, right? This is the thing that you need to know about Hula, okay? She is a physical damage time bomb where if you don't do the right things at the right time, within that time limit, you are dead. If you play based on bursting your, your supports and swapping to your DPS and go ham all the way till they die, then you will have a bad time using Eula. And you will want to skip in favor of a more straightforward DPS, okay? Trust me, looking at Eula right now, I'm sure that you are going to get mad and I can feel you getting mad right now and you don't even have Eula yet. For those of you who have Eula, then yes, I know how you guys feel. She's different and she, she has so much stuff around her that you have to f like prepare and fix and all that. And everything has to go perfectly right for you to do that damage. Because if like something doesn't go right, all that damage is gone. <laughs> Moving on, how to play Eula. The amount of thought that has to be put into her damage it's just so satisfying when you get it right. You have to make sure that it is within that 7 second window. Because if you miss like 1 or 2 seconds of that, then you lose all your buffs. All probably know about her kit from other videos. So I'll just explain how to maximize your damage within that 7 second window in her ultimate. This first combo is going to be for Eula and Eula alone, okay? Buffs that are going to be included in this is the Pale Flame set, 
uh, her weapon and hey I just got her weapon if you didn't see the last video I just got her weapon <laughs> if you haven't seen that video go check it out it's just two minutes of your time you know <laughs> check it out like watch me react <laughs> and how excited I am for getting that weapon in a single pull while reading manga her four piece pale flame set her song of broken pine her ultimate window and her grim heart stacks those are the buffs that are related to eula and eula alone okay adding her supports in would confuse you so i'd rather you practice with this first and then you put your supports in starting off her combo you start with elemental skill to get one stack of grim heart and then use your burst now something you need to watch for is once the starfell sword appears the 7 second time bomb will start. Her 7 second window doesn't start when you press Q or when you press your burst. After you use your burst and then the Starfell Sword appears, you now have 2 stacks of Grimheart and 1 stack of Pale Flame if you're using 4 piece Pale Flame. Now if you're not using Pale Flame, then you won't really need to think of it much because using 2 piece Pale Flame and 2 piece Bloodstained just gives you the 50% physical damage bonus. Now, consume all of those Grimheart stacks by holding your elemental skill right away. This will decrease their physical resistance for 7 seconds and give you another stack of Pale Flame. Because Pale Flame procs whenever the elemental skill hits an enemy. Okay, now that you've done that first combo, here's a recap after consuming your Grimheart stacks. Her burst window is less than 7 seconds. Her Pale Flame set just restarted after you hold your E, which is minus 7 seconds. And the physical rest decrease from her Grimheart stacks also just started, which is 7 seconds. Okay, quick note here. Song of Broken Pines does not start stacking unless you are using your normal attack. Using E or using Q will not stack your what's that the the hymn the song of the ballad song it doesn't stack so right after you do this first combo you can start attacking you can start your normal attack string okay now you're wondering which attack string should i do to maximize the stacks that i need for her ultimate okay i got you don't worry here is a not so spreadsheet for eula's normal attack string what we're counting here is the six second window that you have for your ultimate and you want to do the maximum number of hits to stack up your ultimate before it blows off now i found that her normal nc4 does the shortest amount of damage for about five hits now i've done some more testing and tried it within the six second window of her ultimate and as you can see here the nc4 string and then dodge will net you about 2 NC4s and 1 NC3. That means that you have a total of 14 hits in the span of 6 seconds. That is the most damage that you can do with the 15% attack speed increase. If you lower that to 12%, then it could go down to about 13 or 12. But that means that all these other attack strings will go down by also two hits okay so that means that the nc4 is the what let's say the optimum that you can use in the six second window of her ultimate again recap so your song of broken pines isn't up yet you just finished your first combo which was the one i said a while ago her burst stack right after she starts the timer hold elemental skill so that first hit when she swings and then the Ice World brand. The Ice World brand are basically the Grimheart stacks. These two Grimheart stacks explode for cryo damage and then the Roiling Rhyme damage, which is the large AoE explosion. Counting those first, you have three stacks right after your burst. Now adding your damage, it's going to go up to about 18 stacks and that is the maximum stacks that you can get for eula alone with song of broken pine now if you have gene and song of broken pine this can go up to about two to three more hits if you time this perfectly if you don't have song of broken pine you're gonna lose about two hits 
at least if you're if you're doing everything perfectly and that is the maximum stacks that you can reach for Eula alone with her attack speed buff from Song of Broken Pine. Now, this is where we add the supports and their durations. You have Zhongli's shield that decreases physical resistance, and then you have Xinyan's shield increases your physical damage, and then Lisa's defense decrease from her burst. You have Millilith's four piece, right, for, from Zhongli. It gives you a three second buff every time his E pulses. This deal needs to hit the opponents for it to start proccing. If the steel isn't hitting anything, then it's not doing its job. Next is the Noblesse 4 piece buff. You can either put this on Xinyan or Lisa, depending on how you want it to be. It has a 12 second duration, which is well above the second 7 second window. But you need to fit all of these inside of that 7 second window before all of these go off. So I suggest that you use Zongli shield and make sure that that hole doesn't get destroyed by any of your enemy's attacks. And then you use Xinyan's shield and make sure that that shield does not get destroyed. Because the debuff, because the physical damage increase only works who are shielded by her elemental skill. And then there's Lisa's Q. This is pretty straightforward. As long as her burst is hitting the enemy, you still have that defense decrease. After all of these supports are done in the right order, you can swap the Eula and then start the combo that I showed you a while ago. Recap and conclusion of this video. Okay, start with your supports, get Zhongli first, make sure that his steel doesn't get destroyed, and make sure that the steel is hitting the enemies whenever it pulses to keep his 4-piece buff. And then Xinyan's shield, make sure that it does not get destroyed so you still have your physical damage increase. And lastly, pop Lisa's ult and then quickly swap to Eula. And then again, like I told you before, start with your E, use your burst, hold your E, and then start hitting with the NC4 combo that I was telling you about. This will ensure that you get the maximum damage from Eula's burst, from Eula's debuffs, from Eula's artifacts, from Eula's weapon, as well as getting the debuffs and buffs from your supports. Okay, now I hope you understood what I, <laughs> all that crazy stuff that I was telling you. That's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys find it helpful in understanding how to play Eula and her crazy shenanigans, as a lot of people say, all of her caveats, all of her downsides, all of her problems. Do like if you find the video helpful. Do dislike if you didn't and you think something's better. Comment down below, whatever that is. Comment below if you have Eula and if you have her weapons done and her supports done. And tell me what you think about this quick rant slash guide about Eula. Press that subscribe button and then press the other subscribe button, which is the bell, <laughs> to stay up on all the content that I'll be posting for you guys then see ya bye